Well, hello again, and welcome to another episode of PSVR Play on my channel. Episode 16, and we're playing Drive Club VR. And as stated in our last video, we are now on a PS4 Pro. So everything's has had an upscale in quality, and, and I, I'll tell you, when I say upscale, I mean upscale. If you haven't watched the last video, let um, me just quickly explain. It's the, the VR on the PS4 standard is absolutely lovely, not a problem, really great. I've had it for about a year, it's brilliant. But there was always a slight murkiness. So, yeah, I kind of accepted it. I thought that's just how VR is. On the Pro, that's gone. It's like someone has waved a magic cloth over the um, the lens and everything is just this looks so much crystal sharp um, and I go as far as saying that anyone buying a VR you need a pro you need to get the pro because it is it is so much better and this is a game that in fact has had graphical enhancements for the pro and when I actually look to my right here past the little screen I can see like hoses water being sprayed and I can actually make out the tiny droplets of water none of that was on the original um, Drive Club VR, just little graphical touches so I'm very very happy but let's get down to it, this is Drive Club VR and obviously there was a Drive Club standard version which um, is an excellent game and this uh, Drive Club VR was actually a launch title so uh, it's been around obviously a good year now as I've recorded this video and uh, it's got all the same types of things I mean obviously the, the main Drive Club game the graphics on that are stunning so there was a little bit drop in what they can do for the VR no, but it'll be interesting to see how much of that we get back here for the Pro version but it's all here that we've got a tour mode single event um, multiplayer which I haven't actually tried yet. I'm assuming that's online. So um, let's head into the tour. And I've obviously been playing this game for the last year, so I've got quite a few of the quite a few of the challenges so far. So let's scroll through what we haven't done. Drift levels. Ah. Looks like a race there. Let's go for... Let's go for that one. I think I've done that one. No, we obviously might as well go for this because this is what we're waiting for. Right. Maple Leaf Challenge. Right. Hey, you can see the waterfalls there. In fact, just the whole... The whole thing is just so much clearer. Now, whether that... Whether that graffiti, that picture on that wall there was there originally, if it was, I couldn't make it out. Now I can see that quite clearly. What car should we get into? Oh, nice. Elevate that there. I think I said from my review of the Gran Turismo Sport that on the VR side of things that um, this um, drive club does knock that out of the uh, park because this is, if you want to drive and fix in VR, this is where you need to head. This is definitely the the, the best uh, VR driving experience so far. And the club's there, that's our club logo. I'm going to go for the factory setting. <clears throat> yeah, and even the um, the screen that the PlayStation 4, when you're just looking at a normal cinema mode picture, even that's crystal clear. Oh, this is just so much more comfortable to look at. Let's get into our car. Oh, open the door. Pressing square, we can 
move inside. This was a game that used to give me quite a lot of nausea playing it. So, oh, I've gone out the wrong door. Hang on, let's head back in again. So, oh, I'm in, in the passenger seat now. <laughs> let's go for that one. There you go. Close this door. That's it. All right. Change viewpoint. Now I'll be inside it. Let's get inside. Come on. That's it. And what I love about Drive Club as well is um, you can do in Gran Turismo. You can adjust this. Like I can make the height up or down. I can bring it near or further away from me. And just as a point, this dashboard, oh God, that's so much clearer. I'm getting reflections in there. I mean, I couldn't really, it was, it was all there in the old version, PS4, but that's just so clear. Let's just do this, just to bring that a bit closer in. Right, let's go. We're off. Drive Club VR on the PS4 Pro. Whoa! Whoa, I'm all over the place. I haven't played this for a while, actually. Oh! Drift. What speed there? I just got a trophy there for something. Oh! Break. I've been playing a lot. I've been playing a lot of Gran Turismo. So it's kind of getting used to the... I was going to say Gran Turismo, not in the VR. Although I did... I did try Gran Turismo VR today, and that, that, again, that looks that looks definitely improved on the on the Pro. But yeah, this is um, oh god, this car is so difficult to control. Oh, smash my way through. Ah, break. Yeah, the red is a sharp corner. I've got to remember that. <laughs> oh, I didn't win. Oh, wow. It's just... I mean, I've lived, as I say, for VR for a year, and I, I just got so used to the blowness of it all, and it's just, wow, it's like someone's just waved this enhancement. It just looks so good. I can actually see on the building here, I can make out the, the brickwork. I'm not sure how they, I think it's all done by this, it's called something called Super Sampling, where they, they're essentially bringing you a 4K image, I might be wrong in this, but and they're scaling it down so you're, you're getting a much stronger image coming into the VR headset I think that's the general scientific um, reason behind it I might be wrong though I don't care it, <laughs> the fact that it just looks so much better is just great for me don't like this car though this car is difficult to control it might just be that I'm not playing very well Alright. Alright, let's take this up a bit. Right. Off we go.
Ah, oh, drifting. Oh, nice. Come around that corner. Don't think I'm going to beat the uh, time. Ah, oh, jeez. Let's go for an outside view. Let's give that a go. Kind of defeats the object of being in VAR like that though, so go inside. This car is so difficult to control. A very drifty car. Calm down. Oh. Oh my god, that teaches me to look down. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to win this. <laughs> Get to the end, I think. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I did too well there. I think I'm actually going to quit that and um, try a completely different uh, car. Let's go for. Let's head back to the tour. Uh, what we got there? Drift score. I don't want to do no drifting. Oh yeah, let's go for that. German and Italian hypercars. Oh, that looks nice. Let's get in the old Ferrari. Up to me. Oh wow. On a tunnel there. Let's get in. Close the door. I'll just press X actually. Let's bring this seat up. Bring that foot forward. Perfect. Let's go.
Oh. Now, one of my objectives is to finish in front of her. Or he, Alpha, I don't know why I think it's a girl. <laughs> okay. Ah! Oh shit. Light coming through the window there. That's that's cool. Oh shit! Through the tunnel. Wow! Waves of light passing over me. Dear me. Oh my god, dear me. I mean, as I've been just playing so much Grand Turismo, I got used to the driving and handling of this. Well, it could just be that I'm shit at this. <laughs> Probably that. Oh, Jesus. Twisty, turny road. Oh, catching them up. Oh dear, the light is so bright, you can hardly, hardly see where you're going there. This is a long circuit. Now, oh, look at this. You can see the water rolling down. It's just so much better immersion. That's what it comes down to. Like I say, I'm not going to knock the, the original PS4 because I've had a great year with that machine and VR and really enjoyed it. But it just it just shows you what is what is possible. Yeah, I didn't win. A few accolades there, though. What we're going to do is have a quick... Uh, this is a great fun, actually. I've actually posted a video on my channel where I'll just mess around with the, the replay on this, because <coughs> Gran Turismo sports replay function is, although very good, it's just looking at uh, an image, the actual screen of the replay. Here, you've got a lot more control of what you can do. For start, you're sat in the passenger seat. So you're kind of along for the ride watching yourself drive. Which gives me an opportunity to really enjoy the view. 
and I can also check out behind me. Get in the way of myself driving. <laughs> I can even poke my head out the window. Oh! Which <laughs> is quite stomach turning actually. Oh! But I can also um, change views so I can actually. Yeah. Switch to that's my outside view. Ooh, that's pretty good. How do I switch to? Oh, here we are. We're inside the other car now. Hello, mate. So it was a guy. <laughs> no, why? But Alfie was a girl's name. So enjoy the view of the the area. There I am. So yeah, let's exit that. Oh, how do I exit? There you go. Continue. Uh, so what else have we got available? Pop and lock. Just go achieve speed of at least 125 miles an hour. So yeah, well, let's pick a let's go custom race and let's pick a nighttime race. Um, single event race. Let's go Scotland. Scotland's always quite good for the scenery and stuff. Cloud cover, cloudy, clear, but we're going to take the time right up to night time. Ooh, yes, spooky. A bit more light. Nah, let's go for darkness. Can you have rain in here? No, you see, you can't have rain, you see, in the VR. Right. I think that's the thing I was in before, that was quite tricky. Yes, yeah, go Audi. And I suppose it has to be said that um, the biggest advantage this game has over Gran Turismo is the fact there's other cars out there. As uh, of recording this, Gran Turismo Sport on VR, you can only race against one other racer. They may sometime improve that. Have to wait and see. Easier car to drive this one. Coming through.
Wow, you can see the cathedral there all lit up. That's so smart. Whoa! I really should keep an eye on, <laughs> on the road. Smashing my way through. Completely missed that. Oh, Little um, insects flying towards the camera, that's really cool. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Can I beat him? Can I beat him? Yes! Oh shit! They get the road signs. Ah, bloody hell. I was doing so well that I crashed. Damn. Keep missing that. Nice, it slows you down if you can't corner. The rear view mirror seems a lot clearer. The whole thing is just so much better. Oh shit, shit, shit. Probably the first decent corner I've played all, all game. No, they took me. Oh, I'll definitely beat him this time. As long as I don't crash. Oh dear. What position am I? Six. What the hell? I'm playing bad. Oh shit. Ah, another poor performance by me. That's the great thing about Drive Club though, even if you don't do well in the race, there's always accolades for driving certain types of cars. In fact, there you go, I've just levelled up our club just by doing that. And I've unlocked another car. Awesome. Ooh. Nice. A quick look. The replays are fun though. 
I won't look at the whole thing, but look at that, look at that castle. Wow. So smart. I can look up the night sky, look at the stars. I actually think the replay is more fun than actually playing the game. <laughs> Looks like you're along for the ride. Careful, love. Oh, look at the shadows. It's kind of spooky, really. Oh, shit! <laughs> Yeah, I really was driving badly. But, um, yeah, cool thing about Drive Club as well in the replay. Do kind of strange stuff. If I actually stand up, this is going to really throw it off, but... Oh! Oh my god, I'm above the car! Oh! Whoa! Put my arms out. Oh, dear me. I love the fact that you can do this. It's obviously a little bit of a bug in a way, but it's a lot of fun to be able to do this. Oh, see you later, mate. Oh, it took me out. Look down, see myself driving. Look out! Night sky. Let's head back in. Actually sit down carefully because you think... Oh, what's happened for that sign? Well, there you go, that's Drive Club, um, Drive Club VR. And in PS4 Pro, another level, definitely. And uh, we continue our series. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, that'd be cool, because you'll get more video content. And also check out my Pinball Arcade series. We've got some new tables coming soon for that on the PS4, and they'll be uploaded as soon as they are available. But for now, thank you for watching. See you guys and girls next time. Take care. Bye-bye.